the most insane VIP experience at the 2023 NFL Draft. Oh my god, dude, I'm glad we're here. This is wild. Steelers, I don't have a jersey. Where's uh, okay. K Adams? K Adams, put me on your show. I love you. Guys, I'm the Wizard of Oz. K Adams hit me up. K Adams, I love you. You're my wife. But you didn't have to say it. Alright, who am I here with? Who did I stumble upon today? <laughs> hey, what's good, y'all? It's MMG. And I know you're going to be on camera because you live on camera. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, what's the craziest <laughs> thing you would do to ensure your Lions win a Super Bowl? <laughs> hey, I'll get, I'll shave the head, I'll get the tattoo, I'll do whatever it takes, man. We have zero on the roster. But we won it back before it was literally called the Super Bowl. Okay. It was called like the National Championship or something. Is this the VIP entrance? Let's get after it. Oh, that's fine. Some of the boys work in security. Hey, George Kittle, right here. Hey, in the flush. This guy. I don't even know where we're going, but we're going to find out. Yo, we're right in the front. Who is this signed by? I don't even know who it's signed by. Is Roger Goodell? I don't know. Tony Gonzalez. So sick already. It's been nuts. Tony G Ball and a little NFL draft pick for us. Huge thank you to the Arizona Cardinals for sending us. But it's kind of awesome. We're actually Lions fans, and the Lions fans are right behind us. It's on fire. So it's amazing. Let's go, baby. Roll tight, baby. You can save it in the pink, man. All right, I promise you. Good L started speaking, and everybody booed. This to service moment. Okay, welcome to Kansas City and the 2023 NFL Draft. I did not expect that at all. That was fire. Pick one, Panthers. It's gotta be Bryce Young. There's no question, it's Bryce Young. After Bryce Young gets taken right here, it's gonna start to get really weird. But Bryce Young. Carolina Panthers select Bryce Young. Oh, it had to be. All right, from here on out, it's gonna get weird though. That was the only obvious pick. Get him up there. The Panthers take Bryce Young. Texans, they either go QB or they go Will Anderson. I do think the Texans go CJ Stroud here, but I'm hoping they go CJ Stroud. I want the Lions to get Tyree Wilson or Will Anderson. That's it. Those are my two. I don't want Devin Witherspoon. The Houston Texans select CJ Stroud. Here we go, baby. All right, two for two. Bryce Young, CJ Stroud. Now it's Cardinals. It's going to get weird. I'm going to say Will Anderson. Will Anderson goes three. A few moments later. Arizona just traded round one pick three to the Texans. Texans are going, oh my God, they're getting Will Anderson. They're getting CJ and Will Anderson. Oh my God. Holy shit. Everybody thought they'd take him at two. They're taking him right now. Oh my God. With the third pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Will Anderson Jr. Linebacker, Alabama. would take him the Texans take him I don't know yet what they traded for him but it's looking real good for the Texans TJ Stroud and Will Anderson that's nuts round one pick four this is my Hail Mary Anthony Richardson this is probably where I lose but I'm going with it anyway the Indianapolis Colts select Anthony Richardson Try to 
tell y'all. I tried to tell y'all. <laughs> My mock draft is actually perfect. I actually have a flawless mock draft. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Fifth pick is Seattle. The best defensive player left is Jalen Carter. Seahawks take Jalen Carter, and I hope that the Lions take Tyree Wilson, and then it's the best draft ever. For the fifth pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select I like Devin that. Witherspoon. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Are we gonna take Jalen Carter? Oh my God. It's either Jalen Carter, Tyree Wilson. I'd take either. Draft room is freaking out right now. That's all I know. Arizona traded down from three and up to six. What? But who's Arizona taking? Jalen Carter? Tyree Wilson? The Arizona Cardinals select Paris Johnson Jr. No way. Jalen Carter is still on the board. I, it makes sense though. Seattle's O line is depleted. What do you think about this pick? This is weird. This is really weird. Paris Johnson just ruined my whole mock. My mock does not have him anywhere near the Arizona Cardinals. It's round one, pick seven coming up. It's the Raiders pick. They're not going to take Levis, I don't think, because they just got Jimmy G. They're not going to take Bijan. They got Josh Jacobs. I got no clue who they take. What do they take here? This might be Tyree Wilson. Las Vegas Raiders select Tyree Wilson. Defensive end, Texas Tech. Here he goes. It was a, it was a pipe dream to think he was going to fall all the way to the Lions at 12. Dude, I have no idea who the Lions are taking at 12. I literally have no idea. With the eighth pick, in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Bijan Robinson. No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, they're hoping this guy better be Barry Sanders or Adrian Peterson. That's crazy! Holy shit. Dude, I'm glad we're here. This is wild. I would say Jalen Carter to Philly, but they just got Jordan Davis last year. With the ninth pick, in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Dylan Carter. Wow, man, I can't believe it. So they get Jordan Davis last year and they load up again with Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter is a beast, so I don't hate the pick. I just can't believe Jalen Carter fell this far. Everyone clowned me so hard for saying that Christian Gonzalez would fall out of the top 10. And if the Bears don't take him right now, then Christian Gonzalez has fallen out of the top 10. Arnell Wright. Offensive tackle. Taskaronski, but you protect Justin Fields. It's a pretty solid pick. Now that I think about it, if Christian Gonzalez is still available and we got round one pick 12, I think we take Christian Gonzalez now. If we don't take Christian Gonzalez, I literally have no idea who we're going to take. Lions select Jameer Gibbs. <laughs> what the? <laughs> We signed Montgomery to a three-year, like twenty million dollar deal. What the fuck? I don't know. Whoa! I mean, Jameer Gibbs is a stud. I love Jameer Gibbs. That is such a weird. I just don't get it. Maybe we're getting rid of DeAndre Swift. I just don't get it. I don't think that was a good call at all. Part of me thought that maybe we could steal Gonzalez at 18 and one pick before the Patriots take him. What we do at 18, I don't know, but Jameer Gibbs was a horrible pick. If we're gonna trade down to get Jameer Gibbs, then take B. John Robinson at six. The Detroit Lions select Jack Campbell. What the, what the fuck are we doing? I'm sitting down, bro. I don't even want to talk about this. We just took an Iowa linebacker. Pick 18. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Listen, maybe they end up being generational talents, but running back and linebacker out of the first round is the absolute last thing I saw from the Detroit Lions. Hey, well, that's about it for round one. I appreciate you guys coming. We got a whole backstage VIP tour for round two tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Peace. Draft day two. Let's see where Will Levis goes. That's the big deal. And the Lions have three picks in the second, so I'm excited there. A cloudy day, but it's all good. Should be fun. I'll see you guys in there. Yeah. Absolute best part of this job is meeting everybody. I love all you guys. Thank you. We got more stuff. It's here.
Tennessee Titans select Will Levis. Oh. Sorry, Malik Willis. I don't know what to say, man. That's crazy. I felt so bad for Will Levis that he fell out of the first, but he barely fell out of the first. Only two picks, so I'm happy he got picked. He can finally stop getting shit on social media. I'm interested to see what he fits in like in Tennessee, though, and what they're going to do with Malik Willis now. A few moments later. Detroit Lions select Sam Laporta. NFL draft experience, absolutely insane. We're heading out now. Overall, I am a little disappointed with the Lions, but I still think all these guys can be studs. I just think we reached a little bit, that's all. But wow, Arizona Cardinals and SeatGeek absolutely hooked it up. This was such a cool experience. I was so excited to meet all you guys. Hopefully we can do it next year because it's in Detroit, which would be so sick. We'll see, man. Super Bowl champs and the draft, that'd be pretty cool. Just like the Chiefs did this year. Hey, I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.